And thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. We appreciate your attention, and uh, also I look forward to seeing your questions. Joining me in the chat box, as you heard, is Dr. Anne-Marie Kimball, who, like myself, is a licensed psychologist. She has a Certificate of Proficiency in Clinical Geropsychology. Her PhD was in Counseling Psychology from Texas A&M, and she has spent time in the field. She did a clinical internship, postdoctoral training in the VA system, and so she has uh, clearly worked with patients that have uh, rehab needs. She was a staff psychologist for two different VA systems, and she did palliative care hospice rehab and worked in neuropsychology. I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I started work in a children's psychiatric hospital. I went to work in a public school for a number of years. Uh, then I was appointed chief of child psychology on an inpatient psychiatric unit south of Boston. After that, I went to work at a rehab hospital. So like many of you on the call today, uh, I've had experience with patients with uh, rehab, and uh, from there I went into teaching in a university, and after that I came to Pearson to join their clinical assessment team. So welcome everybody, and this is what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about cognitive rehabilitation for TBI and stroke victims. We talk about using technology under the guidance of a trained clinician to support the improvement of cognitive deficits. So we're going to look at all the different areas where you can improve the patient's performance. You need to consider this a tool that provides deficit-specific therapies, and it does focus on the rehabilitation of patients with cognitive impairment. So we will focus on a computerized cognitive training program uh, that uh, was developed initially at Magdeburg University 25 years ago in Germany called REACOM. We'll look at the evidence for its use and how it will be valuable to you uh, as you uh, deal with patients that have either a CBA or a TBI. Uh, first, we'll begin by reviewing TBI and CBA, and I just want to quickly review uh, some of the material that was covered in the webinar last time by Dr. Kimball. So, my first question uh, to all of you is, uh, did you attend the previous workshop? In which case, I will be brief. If you could answer yes or no, I can see how much time I need to uh, devote to that topic. I don't want to repeat it for a lot of you if you uh, heard it already. So, if you could take a minute to just say yes or no. Were you able to join that webinar previously? So this is what we covered in part one. What is cognition? What is a cognitive deficit? What can be done to improve the functioning of individuals who have that cognitive deficit? what components should be treated, how is cognitive rehabilitation defined, and what are some of the characteristics of cognitive rehab. Is that the same thing as cognitive training or brain games? And is there any way modern technology can be incorporated into this new technique? So let me just go back to the poll, see if we have any more answers. And I'm not seeing many, Sherry. So with that information, I'm going to assume that we have a lot of people who weren't able to listen to the previous uh, part one version. And instead Peter, I'm not sure why the poll is not working, but in the chat box people have been answering, uh, and it's probably about half and half, yes and no. Okay. So we won't cover it in detail. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Mm -hmm. So this is what we covered. What is cognition? It's all these actions and processes that help us to acquire knowledge and understanding. So cognitive processes use existing knowledge and generate new knowledge. Some of the patients you have, when they experience a cognitive deficit, are going to ask questions. How is this going to impact me? What does this mean? What is the nature of this disorder I have? Is this serious? Is it pervasive? Will these problems persist? 
am I going to require treatment? Is this just temporary or is it going to go on for some time? 